This is Diksha Chopde. I am presenting the presentation on two-stroke engine. Here we will discuss about the working of the two-stroke engine. Points to be covered in this are history of two-stroke engine, fundamental of two-stroke engine, types of engine, two-stroke petrol engine, two-stroke diesel engine, basic component of two-stroke engine, the working of two-stroke cycle, working of two-stroke petrol engine and working of two-stroke diesel engine. First, we will see the history of the two-stroke engine. The first commercial two-stroke engine involving in cylinder compression is attributed to Scottish engineer Dugald Clerk, who in 1881 patented his design, his engine having a separate charging cylinder. The crankcase scavenge engine employing the area below the piston as a charging pump is generally credited to Englishman Joseph Day. The two-stroke engine was very popular throughout the 20th century in motorcycle and small engine devices such as chainsaws and outboards motor and was also used in some cars, few tractors and many ships. Because of the lower cost to rebuild and maintain, the two-stroke engine was incredibly popular in the dirt bike and motocross industries for many years until recently when the EPA required in the industry to switch to four-stroke engine because they emit less pollution than the two-stroke engine. First, then we will see what is the stroke. Reciprocating motion used in reciprocating engine and other mechanism is back and forth motion on one direction. Each cycle of reciprocation consists of two opposite motions. There is motion in one direction and then a motion back in opposite direction. Each of these is called a stroke. Two-stroke petrol engine and its component. Now in this diagram, the detailed construction of or detailed components of the two-stroke petrol engine is given. In the two-stroke petrol engine, there are two strokes, namely combustion and expansion. A two-stroke petrol engine is a IC engine that completes the process in one revolution of the crankshaft. Thus, one power stroke is obtained in each revolution of the crankshaft. This is the detailed diagram where the components of this two-stroke petrol engine is shown. As we have seen in previous presentation that what is the function of spark plug, exhaust, crankcase that we have already seen. Now this is the detailed components of the two-stroke petrol engine. Working of the two-stroke SI engine. The two-stroke cycles are very widely employed where small power required for motorcycle, auto rickshaw, scooter, this Type of engines are compact in size, easy for manufacturing and simple in operation. When drawback is there, specific fuel consumption is more. This is the working of the two-stroke engine and this is the working cycle of the two-stroke engine. There is no inlet and exhaust wall as in four-stroke engine, but we have inlet and exhaust port only. Due to which suction and exhaust strokes are eliminated in two-stroke cycle engine. Here the burnt exhaust gases are forced out through the exhaust port by fresh charge of fuel which enters the cylinder newly at the end of working stroke through inlet port. This process is called scavenging. It has no wall but consists of inlet port IP, exhaust port EP and transport port TP. The ignition start due to spark given by the spark plug. When a piston in the nearing completion of its compression stroke, when 80% of this stroke is completed, the exhaust port is uncovered slightly and some of charge of the burn gases except to the atmosphere as the exhaust port is uncovered by the further down, downwards movement of the piston. The transfer port which is slightly lower than exhaust port is also uncovered and charge of compressed oil fuel mixture enters the cylinder and further pushes out the burn gases of the exhaust port. How stroke occurs? First stroke, the compressed fuel air mixture ignites and thereby the piston is pressed down. At the same time, the intake port 1 is covered by the piston. Now a new mixture in the crankcase becomes pre-compressed. Shortly before the piston approaches the lower air center, the exhaust port and the lower overflow conduits are uncovered. Being pressurized in the crankcase, the mixture rushes into the cylinder displacing the consumed mixture, which is called it as the exhaust 
now second stroke the piston is moving up the overflow conduit and the exhaust port are covered the mixture in the cylinder is compressed at the same time new fuel air mixture is sucked into the crankcase by means of crankshaft the up and down motion is covered into the rotational motion two stroke diesel engine and its components the two stroke diesel engine does not produce as much power as a four stroke diesel engine however it runs smoother than the four stroke diesel this is because it generates a power stroke each time the piston moves downward that is once for each crankshaft revolution this is the diagram for compression stroke and this is the diagram for power stroke as you we have seen that here the air is compressed that's why it is called it as the compression stroke Uh, here power is developed that's why it is called it as the power stroke the two stroke diesel engine has less complicated wall train because it does not use intake wall instead it require a supercharge to a force air into the cylinder and force exhaust gas uh, out because the piston cannot do, do this naturally as in four stroke engine the two stroke diesel engine takes air and a discharge exhaust through a system called scavenging scavenging begins with the piston at a bottom dead center how stroke occur in this engine first stroke is called it as the upward stroke the piston is at the bottom of the cylinder a pipe at the shaft side is open and lets the fuel mixture which is already compressed a bit flow from the lower to the upper part of the cylinder second stroke is called it as the downward stroke after being hurried upward the piston now covers the pipe on the left side and the ejection pipe because there is no way out any more the upper fresh gas mixture get compressed now at the same time uh, in the part below fresh gas uh, is taken by a piston driving upward through the open suction pipe at the upper dead center the compressed fuel mixture is ignited by a sparking plug the piston is pressed downward while he compresses at the same time the fresh gas below the process begins again as soon as the piston arrives at its lowest point all these are the references from which uh, we have took this data there are some book references and there are some websites from which we have took this collect this data Thank you.